Come here. Let me cuss. Say hi, boss. Say hi. Hi, Buster. YouTube's Richie Ruckus back here with a new video today. Today we're gonna jump into my five most underrated slash underappreciated sneakers currently in my collection. Now there's a few things that can go into this. Um, it could be my fault that the sneaker is considered underappreciated. I'm not rocking it as often as I would like or as often as the shoe is deserved to be rocked. Um, another reason could be that the shoe just it didn't sell well, so I'm saying it's underrated based off sales and how long it sat on a shelf. And number five, we have the Jordan 7 French Blue. I just, I feel like I haven't rocked the shoe as much as I probably should. I feel like it's a dope model, dope colorway. I love, you know, the Carolina colors together, the navy blue and the baby blue. I just, I don't know. I feel like I didn't rock this shoe, and I don't know if part of it was maybe me falling into the hype machine a little bit. These shoes weren't really rocked that much. You know, anybody could have had these. I mean, these guys sat on finish line, foot action, all the foot sites for a while. Um, they may have sold out on Nike's. I, I believe these were one of the first shoes part of the sneaker app. Um, but I just feel like this shoe is definitely a dope shoe, and I feel like I don't give it the uh, proper respect it deserves. And I don't rock it anywhere near as much as I should. Number four most underappreciated shoe in my collection is ironic that this is number four. Um, it's, it's weird how us sneakerheads correlate times of our life with sneakers. Um, I know exactly where I was when these sneakers dropped. Um, as a matter of fact, I was in the middle of a tattoo appointment and I told the tattoo artist to hold on so I could log on to Villa.com and get these um so coming in at number four is the asic villa wale bottle rocket asic always a classic shoe classic silhouette the comfort is there these shoes are amazing i love these sneakers um the black the red the blue it all goes great together it blends very well the quality of the shoe is bananas the, the accents of the shoe with the little silver stars in the mesh netting, the sole, this insole was the stripes, I believe this insole, yeah, this insole was the stars, it came with, an, you know, pins, another pack of laces, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. the red laces, it's just, I, I kept the black laces in there, I'm not really a big fan of uh, swapping laces, I'm actually surprised that these are still in the box, I have a Jordan brand box down here that I keep stuff like that in, if I ever need to use them, but, Asics did a great job with these. Asics Villa, Wale, great shoe, great silhouette. You can see the sole, there you know. No, I mean, I probably wore these for like five, six times the summer they came out, and then they just, you know, that's the problem with having so many sneakers. I got my my collection down to about 94 pairs right now. It's still way too many sneakers. So stuff always falls by the wayside. Summer, you know, I'll probably be putting these back on once summertime rolls around. Um, the red, white, and blue is great for Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Flag Day, <laughs> any day you want to throw out there, but the shoe's great. I think the one problem I do, I just think it's funny that Wale, one of my favorite rappers, is highly underrated as a rapper, um, so it's only fitting that his sneaker is on my top five highly, 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 highly underrated and underappreciated sneakers in my collection this is definitely definitely some major heat right here and it's a shame that these sneakers do not get the recognition by me or you that they deserve coming in at number three is again a shoe i remember exactly where i was at when this sneaker dropped um i was on my way back from hershey pa i was seeing a concert and these sneakers dropped and i bought them these were one of the first sneakers i think to roll out on the sneaker app sneaker the gold lace tips are amazing. Um, just everything. These shoes are, again, sneakers are great for American type holidays. I'm a sucker for red sneakers. I love them. Love, love, love red sneakers. I know that these sneakers eventually made their way on the clearance. They still may even be on clearance right now on Nike.com years later um, if they're still on there. These are a great sneaker. They're so comfortable. The air bubble on these Air Max 95s is amazing. The gum bottom, I just really have no idea why the sneaker wasn't received better by the sneaker community and why I don't wear it as much as I should. I, these sneakers could be worn 
anytime. So you're definitely going to catch me at a beach near you this summer rocking these again. These will definitely be going back into my rotation ASAP. And number two is the dark powder blue Jordan 3. Now, if you know anything about me, Jordan 3 is my favorite model by Jordan, hands down. But Jordan 3, you could wear with anything. But these sneakers are so, so dope, so, so underrated. Um, I see a lot of people do the lace swap with white laces. I'm not big on lace swapping. I did lace swap my infrared 3s with the black laces. I thought they laid better with the black tongue. Um, but I wore these shoes a couple times this past summer. I got a lot of compliments on them from sneakerheads and non-sneakerheads alike. I feel like this shoe definitely brings out any outfit you're wearing. You could go out with a pair of black jeans, black t-shirt, and just these, and you would kill it. These sneakers are so underrated, so great. The quality is, is good. It's not amazing. I don't know if it's the, the, the suede, it's the suedish upper that made these, you know, not a fan favorite. But these are definitely, definitely, definitely a sneaker that I'm throwing back in my rotation today. Moment of truth, the number one most underrated slash underappreciated sneaker in my collection. This sneaker is also in my top five favorite sneakers. Um, the silhouette, the colorway, everything. Nike did a great job with this retro, and it is the Nike Air Max Penny One University Red. I don't know if it's because of my obsession with red sneakers or... If it's my obsession with Penny Hardway sneakers, but this sneaker, when I seen that this was releasing, I, I, I started salivating at the mouth. I love, love, love this sneaker. Um, my only downfall with it, it doesn't look right with jeans, particularly for me on my feet. I don't think it looks that great with jeans. So I wear it a lot with sweatpants, joggers, shorts. Um, I wear it a lot in the summer. It's great to run ball in. Um, the materials on this shoe are great. It is funny the shoe looking at like sneakers now. This shoe is you know somewhat heavy, but it's still a great shoe. Um, I love it. Uh, it's in my top five sneakers in my collection. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely a great shoe. Nike did a great job with this, and I wish I wore it more. I wish the world wore it more. Um, you know, Penny Hardway, I feel like was one of the after Jordan. He was definitely like the next wave of great sneakers. These foams. This was definitely, definitely the best colorway and best penny sneaker that, that I feel that Nike made. This sneaker is great. Um, the quality, amazing. Starting today, it is going back in rotation. So that's it, guys. That's the top five most underrated, underappreciated sneakers in my collection. I'll be back again this weekend with a new video. This weekend's video is going to be the top five sneakers every girlfriend of a sneakerhead should have. So it's going to be a great video. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm Richie Ruckus. Until next time, peace.